Hello everybody. As I said, I would make this video right after the one I just made and put out there. This one here, um, uh, and, and the one I just made is, let's, let's talk about you and me. And then um, uh, uh, I wanted to talk about uh, Jesus and the Holy Spirit uh, for a few minutes. This here, this video, uh, is, um, as you see, titled, uh, Fry to Freeze in Less Than a Second. And then this is what this video is about. And I am digging, and this is the vibe. All right, so now let's take a look at this for a second, excuse me. And that would be fry to freeze in less than a second. Am I being serious about this? Yes, I am. I am being really serious about this, okay? And this tidbit of information will probably change your life. And I mean that. And the course of your life from this moment on forward once you have this piece of information and I myself am tickled pink about the fact that there is confirmation out there I've been saying this forever and now I mean since I've seen it since it was shown to me and now I was given the gift of it being bestowed to me right before me and my very eyes um, to my surprise because I didn't see it coming. And when it was here, you know, I did ask God and I did ask for assistance the Lord, I ask for assistance in helping me reach people. And and I asked for his words, not my words. Now he knows my heart. And so this bit of information was plunked right in front of me. So what am I talking about? Get to the point. Okay, I'm going to get to the point. In my past videos, I, I, I have videos, uh, the sun is getting too hot, um, um, I, I talk about the waters, um, some I give stats, um, um, warnings from um, articles, um, articles from uh, newspapers, it, all, all of these things are placed in front of me and when I see them, I am always so grateful because the more people I reach, the more people are are for sure going at to a place where they want to be. I guess is the only way I could put it. You know, it 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 makes me happy knowing that that my existence my path on this earth is to help people along the way to remember their incarnation and what life is really all about what heaven is all about what uh our lord is all about our our, our parents god is all about um y you know there are a couple of more truths that you have to give people the truth very gently. You know, mankind gets spooked pretty easily. And I think, I think my next video I'm going to make will be to that guy from coast to coast, George Maury. I think I'm going to make a video to him. I think so. I think I'm going to be really brave and uh, put something out there, <laughs> out to this world, YouTube world, 
a, a truth that nobody I, I mean people do know me but they know they 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 don't know this aspect of me and uh, and that aspect is the desire just to tell everybody the truth as to how it is throw it out there um, it's it's not uh, whether whether you accept it or not, I'll be there if, if I am to be a part of your journey. And that is what I trust. I trust that process. Or I trust the process. And so I make the videos. Also, uh, helping me with my sanity. Um, uh, because I'm going through a transition. Uh, um, and uh, I feel myself metamorphosing in this transition. I'm not so much looking to hold on to what is old because I understand that um, as the cocoon, you, you know, comes spring opens up, I will have transformed into a butterfly. And I'm not talking about monarch. Uh, uh, mind control, <laughs> an actual butterfly, the actual process, the metamorphosing a caterpillar into a beautiful butterfly. And what the beauty is that that is, is existence of all that, that, that lives. You have to find a beauty, a real purpose um, uh, for this earth and the surroundings and not just about title and uh, fame and fortune. Now, you know, somebody will say, you know, a poor man will say, easy for you to say, right? Money does matter. Everything, you have to have respect for everything. If you expect respect, you have to give respect. You have to give respect for everything. And so everything about you can be respected and is respected that's the journey okay so anyway <coughs> truth time I've come to the point where it's truth time now I'm saying okay <coughs> in my videos I have spoken about um, um, being lifted and brought to the Coliseum uh, the journey I had there, the journey outside of the col uh, uh, the Colosseum. I spoke about a woman in a blue dress with white polka dots, and um, uh, she was wearing white shoes, and she was pushing a stroller. And an angel said, "Look up." And I was still trying to absorb. You know, from being inside the Colosseum, all of a sudden, I was freaked out when we got there to begin with, because I, I instantly went to alarm. Um, you know, what are you showing me? Are Christians being crucified again? I, I, I can't be a witness to that. I couldn't bear that. Um, uh, no, it was the fact that there was electricity in the Colosseum, and uh, I was being shown that they were installing it and then a few years after that um, came across a woman and said uh, her son had just got back from Rome and indeed it, it, it had electricity it either had been wired in or was in the process of being wired in and I went oh that sucks and the reason that sucks is because that was before I saw us outside the Colosseum. And when I say us, I'm talking about myself and um, uh, the guy that took me, the angel that took me into that time frame. And both places I was shown um, like I said he said look up look up and I was like uh, first it was where am I looking then it is what am I looking for 
And then I was told, um, the sun. And when I focused on the sun, at first I didn't make any sense to me. I'm like, okay, I'm looking at the sun. What, you know, what's up with the sun? What about the sun? And all of a sudden, but maybe that video, I think I'll leave that hanging and I'll make another video and I'll tell you what exactly happened. But for now, and yeah, that is a bit of a hanger, but for now, In my videos, I spoke about the sun getting so hot that the waters boiled. I've made a few videos, like I said, about the heat, how dangerous that we need to be paying attention to the heat. Now, from there, we need to be paying attention to the ground, the land, what is going on underneath the earth. People that say there's nothing going on, proof, 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 proof. Proof is in Mother Nature. I don't have to prove anything to you. Read the news, and you're only getting a small portion of it. Mother Nature is proving that all this is happening. They're, they're real, live occurrences that are happening. So that's your proof. All that's going on, that's your proof. And did I, and did I not, and do I not give you information prior then? And you have to admit, I do. I know I do because I really want people that come across this station to have heads up. What's real? You know, what's the scoop? You know, somebody throw me a friggin' dinghy already. You know what I mean? What is it? Because there's just so much out there. But there's videos. I speak of the heat. I speak of the sun. I got brave the other day and I said I saw a flare. It broke my heart. I did not know what to make of it. In shock. I am still in shock. Now, I did tell a girlfriend, my friend, Yes, there is a way to survive it. Yes, it has everything to do with caves. Caves. No compromising. Caves. Caves. And, 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 and. Caves and timing. Time. Time, 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 time. That's the other thing that's relevant. You know, I've come across some pretty groovy uh, sites. Um, um, and one where, and I'm gonna go back to watch it. I, I have it posted in my favorites. And I, I, yeah, when I find it, I'll make a short video and post it because it's so worthwhile watching. Uh, you're looking at uh, uh, creating a fire out of ice. Now, that's a tool that I will love to have, period. There's no compromising. I want to know that. I want to know how to do that because I have seen an ice age. Yes. And I don't know if I made a video about that or not. I think I might have. I don't know. You know, all of a sudden, um, um, I, I jumped into uh uh, a city I call Cowtown, <laughs> and that would be Calgary, you know, in, in her youth she was called Caltown, or Cowtown, and um, uh, uh, I think the title speaks for itself, 
And now look at Calgary, it's just a huge city. Uh, nothing uh, resembling her, her beginnings. And not that her beginnings were shabby. You know, they had a lot to be proud of. But there was always this rivalry between Calgary and what we call E-Town. And that would be Edmonton. Both cities are in the province of uh, Alberta. Um, so all of a sudden I was plugged into Cowtown and I'm looking and everything is ice. Everything. Like it is eerie. Okay? I mean, you know the expression, you could feel somebody walking over your grave. You know, and it goes right up your back. And you're just like, gotta hold it, gotta hold it, I can't fold, I can't get into it. And I mean, it was frozen. I actually have a warning for Edmonton, Alberta, and I'll be making a video, and I will call it Edmonton, Alberta warning. <laughs> just pretty basic. Keep it to what's real, right? So. I instantly went, whoa, whoa. Okay, now, now, are you telling me I'm going to be going through this? Like, where are my kids in this? That's the second thing I say. Where are my kids in this? Where are you, you know, where are they? And I won't compromise. I will only, whatever, knowing that my children are safe, knowing that my grandkids are safe, then I'll cooperate willingly. <laughs> but until then, you can't take me. No. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. It all depends who, whom, yes, whom, you know, because I've been vis visited by uh, a few, and some are going to go, loot, 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 but as loot, 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 you might find me, um, uh, like this link I'm going to put up here for you, um, uh, is really, uh, uh, Terribly groovy. That's one of my favorite words. I don't know why I started using that. That just came to me a short while ago. I don't know what, where it came from. Anyway, um, and woe well, and behold, this gentleman was literally talking and explaining how this comes about via nebula. And I got all excited, all excited, because I can say, hey, look, science is literally backing up what visions are being given to me. And these visions are given to me to share. It's important that I share. You know, do I want to use the word warning? In some cases, yes, most definitely. But, but... In the overall, no, because I know we're not alone. I know that. And there are more that want to be connected to a heavenly realm and a he heavenly understanding and a heavenly um, uh, way of life, uh, 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 sp spiritually, heavenly. And it's cool. It's not derived through all this you know, what people call mumbo-jumbo. You know, it all depends what mumbo-jumbo is. Mumbo-jumbo is understanding energy, the principle, prana, prana, the principle of life. Okay, I actually made it, I think I made a video about her, because when I saw her, she scared the living bejesus out of me, man. I had to take a couple of steps back I, I got spooked. I lost my breath. I didn't know who I was looking at. Not what. Who I was looking at. And um, uh, anyway, this what I'm talking about in the here, in the now, has to do with my saying, I was up north and I recall people um, um, in boats were sinking because the acid, the, 
the, the acid that was created from the rust in the water ate everything and it ate everything up. And um, they were trying to get away from the sun. Um, they had a destination somewhere and um, nobody had any time for what it took to look up and go, oh, I saw the people there disintegrate. And I freaked. I freaked. I have to admit, honestly, I freaked. And then I cried. And then at that point, I was open to, to the words of, of the angel that brought me there in that moment and, and gave me information like that, that the sun was going to uh, uh, spit. Well, I don't know, maybe if it was the sun directly or the gases and everything around the sun is more than proper, the, you know, that would cause that, that description. Uh, plasma, is that what they call it? Plasma could shoot out like that, right? And, um, uh, yeah, and I was like, whoa, okay, I really, you know, that was too much information, and I really had to ponder over that, which I did. Up north, I, it's just myself and God. I live on the very top of a mountain. And these mountains are way up there. You know, there are lakes upon different uh, heights of the mountain, we'll say. And they are different worlds, they're different pockets as you're moving upward. And uh, looking above, I don't see not well I can't see other mountains if you can believe that all right but you definitely go through that period where you know you are it the last mountain and you're on it and uh, there's only you and God and I do my best thinking there I live there I sometimes feel like Julie Andrews. <laughs> Don't tell us so. <laughs> yeah, I'm just kidding. I like Julie Andrews. But, uh, yeah, in The Sound of Music, you know, there was that same picture. Uh, and I own, a, I own a log home up there. And I, that's where my heart is, to be really honest with you. Um, because I feel so connected with God there. But I understand it's it's short lived, and I have to move uh, accordingly. I advise people, and because of what I know as well to be true, um, we have to uh, um, transform our mind sets into a a no man way of living. Yes that we pop up tent, you know? So we're best right now to gather. This is a time to gather. We need to gather. And in the gathering, we need to plan. Because first, the sun gets so hot, so hot, the waters boil and it spits. And it goes from that to freezing ice cold like that snap happened where it was a tropic and within and you can hear they give you the number they give you the number as to when the event happened and it was in the 12 billion and some odd I believe I know they I know that the numbers that they showed were lower and there's no way that you're not going to not trust this video and this information or this man. Science literally backs up the warnings that were given 
for me to give to you, anybody and everybody out there. And in my videos, I've been doing so, saying to people, look, first it's the sun. You have to protect yourself from the sun. If you're going to live, there is a process. Everybody asks for the process. Everybody asks for the proof. Everybody. I love when God just lays it on me out of nowhere and says, Okay, here, daughter, this is what you asked for. I'm giving it to you because I'm not going to answer that, I don't think. Oh, I don't know. Oh, don't leave me a message. Okay. And, uh, stop. See, breaks Hello. my thought process. Leave a message after the tone. Don't leave me. Don't leave it. Thank you. Don't leave it. Thank you. Don't leave it. All right. So, um, uh, it is so important. Okay. Because in the science, we're even given a time. And this is where the video is entitled, This Will Change Your Life. When you realize and you put this knowledge into effect, meaning, don't take my word for it, right? But you should. I know, I know I'm out of nowhere. I know this. I know this. And I'm also going to say, hey, uh, Cliff, I know you sometimes watch my videos. Listen, you need to hit the link. I am leaving the link in the description box. This is a video you don't want to miss. I don't know if I'm going to ever be able to convey this as of lately. So if you do watch it, Okay, do yourself a favor. That's my last extension. I really recommend that you hit that link and you want to watch this. And you, my subs, you want to watch this. You people that, stum that just stumble <coughs> across this video, you're going to watch this. You've got to watch it. You will want to watch it. And I will leave the link in the description box. And I believe it is um, 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 causes what causes ice ages. Now, it's a little more than that, but everything is correct, on point, and exactly what I had been shown again and again and again. Now, throughout the years, you that do know me, you know it's been more than two decades even. Over two decades. Over. Over. And I said, I don't know how, I don't know why, and then I went, yep, the pole shift. Uh, ding, 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 ding. I put it on that scale and I knew. It was everything that was shown to me. Everything. It took my breath away. Now, we can live, yes. We can survive, yes. But the first thing to this change is how we are programmed. First. And then how we are seeing what we are seeing first and foremostly the truth now if any of these give you that tightening in any part of your body then you're going to want to pay attention to it I really suggest it because what is happening is real science is real this is real. We're talking real world. We're not talking uh, uh, visions, which, which this is how it came to me. And I have been sharing this and preaching about this because I, in, first and foremost, I went into shock. 
I was devastated. I I was screaming, and I I just could not. I was I was I I on my knees, face down. Yeah, on my knees, face down. That's where I was. And you know, then I went heavy duty cross to carry. You, you you know, and what do you do? Do you keep your mouth shut, or do you give a warning? So you say nothing, and then all of a sudden, your heart—it's like something starts to squeeze it. It's like your heart is in a vice, and whether you're reluctant or not. And I believe that your heart goes off before you're even really conscious of what the problem is. And that usually when that happens is that, you know, fear has set in. And that fear needs to be brought to the surface once and for all and dealt with because one, it hasn't been something that's left me. And two, as time has gone on throughout the years, it has been one confirmation of, uh, after another. Um, uh, one, uh, in one extent, or, uh, or extend, or uh, uh, one or another, all the experiences had to do was bring me to this moment. And that is to say, hey, look at science. We're talking science. We're talking actual science. You don't have to believe me. But I'm going to say, you've got no choice. Because if you watch the videos, I tell you, you need to hide from that sun. The other thing I tell you is that there's going to be an ice age. And I asked, hey, you, you know, what about down south? I was wondering, what about South America? And the angel said to me, it's an ice age throughout. And I went, dang, holy crap. Well, okay, so we're still feeling happy because we're lucky to be alive. You know, onward, to the next thing that we can turn into a home, warmth, and let's get settled, whether it was for a night or longer. Living like nomads is going to be the only way that any one person will be able to survive, truly. Now, you need to be really sharp because once that onslaught begins, uh, there is no mercy. There is no saying, uh, wait, I need to gear up. Wait a second, I wasn't ready for this. Wait a minute, I didn't know this was exactly what was gonna go down and how it was going to go down. Or, it's literal? This is actual literal? So what's written in that book that we call the Bible is literal? Yeah, uh-huh. And in all situations like that, we'd all be hooped. We'd all be hooped. But the way that God would have it, this video was put before me today, this evening. Actually, it called me the last, well, I don't know, two days. And I, and I just wasn't going there. I don't know why I wasn't going there. And again, it was in front of me. It just would not going, go away. It's not like I, you know, the last three days I saw it once or whatever. No, it was like in my face. It was there, it was there, it was there. And today, for whatever reason, I went, okay, okay, okay. Because I looked at what was all around it, and it was um, off, off the beaten path as to what the cookies were pulling up. And um, uh, I, so I looked at twice at it because of it. And I, okay, all right. Don't, man, do not leave me a message. I don't want you to leave me a message. Don't, 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 don't. 
don't leave me a message. Okay. Okay. So, I, yeah, because I want to finish this. Okay, so, um, uh, where was this? It was really, it was, it's really important that we don't, uh, we don't, as, as a human race, we don't fall off the beaten path. I did ask, I was shown, um, I asked for how long, I saw something like 40, 45 years, um, um, or was it the year 40, 46? What I do know, according to science, and what you are not being told, what I'm not, well, I am being told. I'm being told from God and visions that are given to me that I can rally people up, that I can tell them the truth, that I can tell them, look, this is going to happen. Look, if we're going to survive, we're going to have to think like this. Look, these are things you might not have thought of or 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 had no answer to um even just some freaking straightforward honesty as to what is up next and this is given to me by the word of god it's I don't know if it's going down the channel or across the channel. I do know that this is where my knowledge comes from. I can truthfully say that. Okay, so it's super important that you you take the time for yourself to watch this next video because it clearly explains how the sun is going to become so hot it is going to be a detriment to the human race possibly even a question of are we going to be able to live through it the government thinks we won't this is now american government i'm talking about this is also um C dot uh, uh, A dot 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 and I was like wow wow okay so they don't want us to know now I've been going out there and I've been saying look <coughs> you have to prepare for this look this is going to happen uh, now I've also spoken about water and what they show me and 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 the freaking hell that that they showed me um, um, I've been coming up with these videos and I try to come across as light-hearted as I possibly can by but all the while okay still stressing look this is real you really do need to pay attention it is a matter of life and death it is information that we as souls as human beings should have should know how we should have the know how it is really important the other that we need is to know why not only if it's possible, but how it's possible. And where do we come in? Well, automatically, instinct kicks in, and we say, hey, where we come in are the survivors. We want to gather as much information as we possibly need to survive. Now, what I do know is that this is a very uncomfortable conversation um, uh, to have because I have put this out there to people and people are very comfortable in their life that they are making. It's not perfect. They're making for themselves. It's not perfect, not by any means, but in comparison to other countries other people and what they're how they're having to live 
Um, we are blessed, never mind our mediocre, um, our poor live, live, live highly compared to the poor people in, in just a couple of hours away by, by, by plane. I don't know how much by train or car. I mean, there's ideas as long as we can keep the gas going. But, I mean, everybody stops to work. What gas is going to be going? Okay, so look, these events are going to happen, and these events are what people need to look at. They need to look at science. They need to see religion through science as well. And they have to correlate science with religion. I'm talking not so much religion, but the Word of God but the word of the Christ. Yeshua. Yeshua. Right? Okay? So, when it comes to our Lord and the word of God and the visions that are given to me, like they're saying, you need to see things through different glasses is the projection. Um, they want you to embrace the Word of God as if it is a love letter to his children that are lost and for them not to lose hope. Don't give in to the, the, uh, oh, the temptations of this world. Don't own that. Understand that you are made in God's image. Therefore, you can do all that he can do. But the moment you say you're not, and you're not a part of God, and you want nothing to do with God, and you don't want to know God, you don't want to know Jesus, you want to know about him even less than you want to know about God. How do you think you are to have any of those powers that are gifts? They're considered gifts. Superhero, they're considered gifts. So isn't it the norm then that you should not inherit that? I think you inherit it automatically. I think not making a choice to embrace it, acknowledge it, is where it leaves you powerless because you're only half the person and you only learn half the capability because your intention is to learn all, the whole. You know, information is what helps set us in this dimension and we should understand it not be afraid of it they turn it into uh, uh, you know all of storing it at the occult is because the occult uses it whereas the masses um, they're afraid of it they instantly you know run from it and you know throw it under religion and different religions and different cults and new ages and you know hey listen listen before all that comes about what needs to come about is a clear understanding who your Christ is who your savior is you need to know that because that then you're making the correct decisions it's easy for us to hate our enemies. It's pretty difficult to love your enemies, knowing that they hate you, that they despise you. If they could, they'd rub you out because just breathing the same air nauseates them and irritates them. It angers them, your presence. I've learned that that energy is very real. But we do have the ability to say, 
Yeah, it really sucks to be you. You don't even look like a bad guy. You know, you're definitely not anybody that would attract you in any way, shape, or form just because they are that negative. <laughs> right? You would own that with that reaction. Because your beliefs is what is deemed and what are deemed real and unreal. What works for you, what doesn't work for you. This is uh, very, very, very real. All of this is very real. And this knowledge really does need to come out. Um, the sun really is going to become very dangerous. Please check out my past videos. Um, then there is a, a mighty wind and there is a flip. And yes, I've seen some people needed to be chained because that wind was pulling everybody and everything it could. Yeah, it, the winds were insane. The only other time I ever saw winds like that is when, I can't remember if it was Moses or Enoch or Abraham. They were brought up to the four corners of the earth. And there they were, the seven sisters as well. Now, up in those four corners of the earth, the wind there is so uncontrollable. You know, it has, it breeds a completely beat, a completely different beat, a beat completely of its own, truly. Mm -hmm. truly those four corners and and it is up in around what we now deem as antarctica or even further up yes uh, and i was taken there to listen to see and to learn and i saw him talking to god and god talking to him and, uh, I mean, you see that gift right there, the experience. Who can say that? I know. I sound like a freaking night bar, right? Night, 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 night. As a nut. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know. I know what I'm saying. Sounds really outlandish. Um, but fact remains, I was brought there to witness it, and I did. You know, and I just keep hearing seven. I see three and I see seven and I keep, it, you know, I believe it's Genesis. I, and, and I can't draw from that because of the injury I have in my head. And it's in the back here. It's from being hit by that vehicle. Um, I was walking, I guess. I, I'm thankful to be out. I'm thankful to be alive, you know, and I do have to deal with this. I'm able to hide my disability for the most part. But that kind of sucks, too, because people do not know the extent of it. And so I've got shortcomings that I don't allow it to uh, hamper my mood or hindrance my uh, belief in myself or my capabilities. I try my best, I guess. Okay, so um, I was taken to, to those four corners and um, there was knowledge that was taken in and written down. It was another time, like people talk about Moses going up into the mountain and receiving information. It was definitely a situation like that in this case, very much so. So Enoch or Abraham, I'm leaning more toward. Um, um, and I was in awe. I was in complete awe. Yes, I saw angels. I saw them blowing the, the the horns, the trumpets. I saw through his eyes, looking at all that was around. It was all barren, all that was around. There was only the breath of the wind was the only thing that existed and himself. The only other 
that anything that was there was God's word, was God. Yeah. And then we popped in. Like I said, I was looking at all of it. I was <coughs> speechless, completely speechless. I still am for the most part, you know. I go through it in my mind and uh, I stop and I, I, I pick certain seconds and I look in those seconds, I look all around and um, all that I observed and I keep it fresh within me, I guess is what I'm trying to say. I can draw from it very easily. The memory is etched into my soul as a part of me and um, not just a memory. It was just, yeah. So, um, uh, with the flip, with the flip, what's going to happen next from the sun is going to be uh, the Ice Age. This video explains it. This video explains the fact that it's real. The video explains that it's going to happen. The video does give you a time frame that is extremely realistic. I kept asking God for it because I confirm what I see, Lord. Confirm what I see, Lord. That's what I was praying for. Please confirm to me what I see, Lord. I have been talking about this for over 20 years and I need this in order to give to people because everybody is so quick to say, prove it to me. Now, it's either a lack of faith or a lot of liars. One of the two. Okay, so check it out. Tell me what you think. It is super, super important. I'm sorry I carried on about this, but it's just really that important of a video. You need to watch it. After you've watched it, you will understand why you needed to watch it. The fact that truly it is one of the most important videos that you've ever watched. Three, I believe, get the book actually books all right google the crap out of them if you want i think you're going to be happy campers if you do really and tell me heads up you can share it you can like and you can also you can also subscribe okay i'm tired i'll see you then check the link you right away you want to check the description box you want to do this okay you want to do this okay